King of Parrot Powers by Neutral Milk Hotel, part one. This song sucks to play because it's got stupid chords in it. I was thinking, oh, he must tune down he, or something. But no, I watched videos of the guy playing it live and he plays these stupid chords. You're gonna hate it, I'm gonna hate it, and it's gonna be a lose-lose situation. Let us begin, standard tuning. My name's Stuart, welcome. Like and subscribe if you found this content entertaining or useful. I have given you nothing yet. So anyway, standard tuning. We've got three chords in this song, two of them suck. First one's an F, sucks. I mean, it's fine. I'm not, I don't really, I'm not really judgmental of the F chord, but. But the song sounds like it's gonna be easy, and then it's and then it's not. Okay, so pointer finger plays the first fret on the top string. Your ring finger plays the third fret of the next one. Your pinky plays the third fret of the next one. Then your middle finger plays the second fret of the next one. <sighs> Make sure your thumb is pulled back here. It's not poking up over the top. It's not down here on the bottom. It's just sitting sitting on the back, like right around right around like between your pointer finger and your middle finger. You see that? You see that there? But then here's what really sucks. Your pointer finger has to smash down on every single string. I'm pushing on the top, and I've got this little like curve to my finger where I'm making sure I'm pushing on the top, and the base of my finger here is smashing down on the bottom, on the bottom two strings. Do our F and do our F major bar chord. And it's not like you just get to this chord once. It's like you have to get to this chord a gazillion and a half times. Let me, while you're getting your hand accustomed to this bar chord, let me show you the rhythm. The strumming that goes for almost the entire song. For almost the entire song, we're gonna strum down, down. And I'm just aiming for the top few strings, maybe the top like three strings. And then I'm gonna strum down, up, down, up. So that was down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. I, I dare you to play this along with me. One, two. One, two, here we go. And down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. One more time, here we go. That's the strumming. That is one third of the chords. How do your finger and your hand feel so far? Does it hurt right right here? That's where it gets me, is right, right there. You gotta push with your thumb, a little, a little tip. You can have your elbow arm area push against your guitar here a little bit and it can help fulcrum the guitar against your fingers. Physics. Paradiddle. That's a drum thing. What's another vocabulary word that we should all know? How about the word that is inflammable? It means the same thing as flammable. Clarissa Explains It All told us that. All right. I don't really want to do the rest of the song because I know what's coming next. I know the next chord and it is my least favorite chord on the guitar. B flat, B flat major. Look at this, look at this. Here's what's happening. My pointer finger is pushing on the first fret of the A string, not the top string, but the A string. If it touches the top string, that's, that's okay. It's actually good if the tip of your finger touches the E string. If you push on the E string, that's okay as well, but what I recommend is have your finger push on the A string. The focus is a little weird. Have it touch the E string, just mute it. We wanna mute that E string. If you can, have your finger push on the rest of the strings, but for the B flat, it's really not that big of a deal. Then your ring finger is gonna play the third fret on the D string. That's the third string from the top. And then here's where it really sucks. Your ring finger has to smash down. Do you see that weird angle my ring finger's at? It smashes down and plays the D string, the G string, and the B string, but I try to just mute the high E string. So I'm not letting my ring finger smash down on the E string. That would be bad. We want it muted like that. So what do we have here? Can you see how like, I this chord makes me depressed. It doesn't even sound that good when you get it. Listen, like it's fine. It's fine. I give it like a six out of 10. I give it a 6.5 out of 9.75. B flat major chord, top string is muted. Pointer finger, first fret on the A string. Ring finger, third fret on the D string and the G string and the B string. High E string is muted. My middle finger's not doing anything. It just is in this position because it doesn't know what else to do. 
And my pinky, I'm not doing it on purpose, but my pinky kind of helps my ring finger push down. You see that? So I'm just, I'm get, I've got some double, double power going on with those two. Now you're thinking, wow, this song sucks. So I'm not gonna watch the rest of this video because I don't want to play this stupid thing. Well, it's gonna get even worse. Look at this. We want to go like this. We want to go F down, F down, F down, B flat, F. Did you see what that? Did you see all that work getting to the B flat? And then we just strummed it once. So here's what I just did. I did F down, down, up, down, up. And then I went F, B flat, just one strum of B flat, and then right back to F. And I'm going down, up, down, up on the F. So I'm going down, 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 up, down, up, F, B flat, F. One. Two, do it with me. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, B flat, F. <sighs> You're just gonna have to pray. If, basically, the chances are, you are one of two things right now. Either one, you already know these chords and you're like, it's not a big deal. Why is he being so dramatic about it? I've been playing these chords since I was, since I was a, a wee child. Or you are, and you're like, who cares? I'm just gonna, I already know the song, so why am I watching this video? The other thing that could be happening is you could be brand new to bar chords like this, and you're like, this is the hardest thing I've ever seen, and I don't even want to try. And this is, is this a pep talk? I'm not sure if this is a pep talk or what this is. Um, was I making a point? I think what the point I was making is really what you need to do is just very slowly practice those two chords. And as much as it sounded like I hate that B flat chord because I do hate it, the truth is it shows up in a lot of songs. So you do want to get good at this B flat chord. So switching back and forth between these, you don't even need to worry about the rhythm at first. Just go back and forth between the chords. Just go to your little happy place where you just play the chords and you ignore all the pain in your fingers. You ignore how boring it is. Look, it's still, look, I'm getting pretty good at it, right? See how I'm just smoothly, just, my pointer finger just kind of hops up and down. My ring finger just does this little rocking motion, flattens out, curves back up. All right. That's the hardest part of the song. That was a little weird. So we've got, F down, 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 up, down, up, B flat, F down, up. Then you're gonna go to a C, just a plain old regular C. Finally, it's not a stupid bar chord. Top string is muted. Ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, the A string. Middle finger on the second fret of the D string, the third string from the top. The G string, the third string from the bottom is open, and your pointer finger is on the first fret, of the second string from the bottom. The high E string, that could be open, or if you mute it, that's kind of fine. It's not a big deal. With this song, if we have extra muted notes, it actually sounds kind of good. So we've got C down, down, up, down, up. And then we go back to the B flat, down, 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 up, down, up, and then back to F. So if I put all that together, we've got this. Now, something that you may have noticed is when I'm strumming my down, up, down, up at the end of the strumming pattern, I start switching chords as I'm strumming down, up, down, up. Watch, in super slow motion. Look at this, look at this. See that? You see how I'm kind of, I'm you taking advantage of that extra rhythm? to give myself a little bit of extra time to switch chords. Then we, when we play it up to speed, it goes. It actually, the, the sloppier that the muted strings and the open strings sound, the more like the recording it sounds. I'm not saying that he's a, a sloppy, like poor guitar player. I think he's a fantastic guitar player, but it's got this folksy, raw sound to it. 
Have I explained any of this? That's the, that is, that is what happens throughout the song. It happens at the beginning, goes. Then when the actual singing starts, I suppose we'll call it the verse, it goes. No, nope, 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 nope. It goes like this, it goes F. So that was just, that was just pretty simple. We do have to play those stupid chords, but it's not that bad. It's just F, down, up, down, up, F again, down, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, down, up, B flat, down, down, up, down, up. We do it again. So we do that twice for the verse. Then I suppose we could call this next part the chorus, but I don't know. It goes like this. It goes C, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, down, up, B flat, down, and then we go, I think, back into that. Let's let's double check. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what we do. I think we go C down, down, up, down, up, C down, down, up, down, up, B flat down, down, up, down, up, B flat down, down, up, down, up, boom. So then we're just back to the intro again. We do the intro maybe once, maybe twice. Um. So the chorus is short then. The chorus is just going C, C, B flat, B flat, then back to the intro. Guys, I think that's a song. I mean, I know this is short, but like, I didn't want to do this video to begin with. I don't think you especially wanted to see it. So I think we're just going to be done. It's just, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll play the whole thing one more time. Uh, and then, and then, uh, one, two, three, four, boom, back to chicka, boom, boom, wait, I messed up already. This is a terrible idea. One, two, three, four, boom, boom, back to chicka, boom, boom, ba, 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 chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, chicka, picky, bow, bow, chicka, bow, bow, chicka, chicka, bow, bow, chicka, then the singing starts. Then the chorus, C, C again, B flat, stay on B flat, then back to the intro. And then I think it just starts over again. Like, I'm probably wrong. There's a, probably a whole other part of the song I totally forgot about. Um, but I'm done playing B flat for the day and you can't make me play it. <laughs> 